A considerable number of Kiev's large caliber artillery systems have not yet been pulled out from the actual line of contact in the eastern Ukraine. Edward Basurin, a spokesman for the Defense Ministry of the Donetsk People's Republic, said on Monday. At the same time, the U.S. government has published a tender saying it's hiring services for the movement of equipment and approximately 300 U.S. personnel in the Ukraine, according to the Federal Business Opportunities website. In February, Washington confirmed it will send troops to the Ukraine to train Kiev troops fighting against the militias in the eastern Ukraine. It seems the Obama administration think they can intervene into Ukrainian eternal affairs and violate Minsk agreements because the U.S. refused the Minsk talks and didn't sign the Minsk agreements. The Ukrainian currency hryvnia fell 70% during last year's start. Now the Ukraine has faced a hyperinflation. According to official sources, the inflation is 28.5%. But John Hopkins University professor Steve Hunker says it's really more like 272%. And that's only going to get worse as long as the Ukraine's currency does. The Ukraine has done what all countries do when you've run out of money, go to the IMF. It's announced a $17.5 billion bailout in return for tough reforms, including cutting energy subsidies for households. But even that won't be enough to stop the Ukraine from defaulting on its debt or, if you're feeling more polite, restructuring its bonds. Those have already fallen to less than 50 cents on the dollar in anticipation of the non-payment to come. General Prosecutor of the Ukraine, GPU, has prepared written notice to 76 former MPs of the Republic of Crimea Parliament. According to the press service of GPU, the MPs are suspected of treason. Probably there are no more independent journalists and bloggers in the Ukraine, so the GPU has started to bring charges to former MPs. The Islamic State has declared war on Twitter. Twitter has routinely shut down Islamic State social media accounts, particularly those that threaten or link to beheadings and other atrocities. The militant group, also known as ISIL or ISIS, posted an online threat Sunday warning Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey that your virtual war on the internet will cause a real war on you. ISIS had to learn in the Ukraine. ISIS has just declared war against opposition bloggers. The Kiev government already has.